Hello everyone, welcome to episode 77 on Friday the 21st of May. I'm Marie. Dominique. And that's Cece. Yeah, we're back in the room with Cece. Because she can't come out the room, she that's her, she looks after the room. She does, that's where she lives, that's, that's her little throne, that's where she sits. Oh dear me. Right, let me it, just get... It, you're going to tell us soon that David built her own wardrobe for all her growing outfits. Um, no, she has her own little suitcase. Look, I've never shown you it. Right, this is what the iPad, this is what my laptop sat on. Stand by. <coughs> oh! <laughs> ah, brilliant. No, I didn't realise she'd got her own suitcase. She's got two little suitcases with, with all sorts in. Oh, so she's got room to expand when she needs to. A little pair of knitted pants. A little, I mean, we may as well start off with, we were saying we haven't got much to talk about. Little jumper. I mean, that's a Christmas jumper, isn't it? Little skirt. <laughs> and then a police uniform. So we've got a little police trousers. <laughs> we've got a little, little sergeant's outfit with her epaulettes. The shirt. I've not seen that shirt before. Yeah, under a uniform and a hat. Oh, yes, sorry. I was thinking it was like a different shirt. No, it's a well, little, it's a shirt, isn't it, that goes underneath? Yeah, but I think because I've not seen it as, I've only ever seen oh, it. right, okay. I've not seen that. Um, yeah. It's a while since she's been in a police uniform. I mean, I mean, I think she's maybe retired now. But So, yes, she has her own little... Oh. Well, very good, Cece. That's very nice. Her own little suitcase. Oh. Hello, everybody. Well, that's giving everybody time to join, isn't it? Hello, everybody. At least the machine's working, so we know that's going on. It is, yes. Oh. Isn't it absolutely crap outside? Well, that's... I mean, we are more than halfway through May. It's and awful. I'm in an hour and wait jumper because it's cold and I refuse to put the heating on at the end of May. It is absolutely grotty outside. Um, windy, really rainy, horrible, freezing cold. I mean, Dad and I went out early and took him out for coffee and lunch. And it was, it was like October. Absolutely torrential. It's anyway. The rain stopped for about an hour while I was sat waiting for a delivery, which was 40 minutes late. So that wound me up because the only time I could have gone out, I was sat waiting for oh, them. That's no good. Anyway, it's here now, so. Hello, Jane. Nice, nice that you've been able to join us. Oh, yeah. Hello, Jane. Um, yeah. yeah, it is. <laughs> I've been out. Um, thank you for your orders today. Um, I had to go out and dye them. It's been like going through, battling through a store. <coughs> when I get the door open without the wind taking it out of my hand, the rain coming down, I was in my welly boots. I'm thinking, this is like the middle of winter, not almost summer. But you are, Hi, Joanne. She said she just got in, got very soggy and blown away. It, it is. It, I'm looking out the window now. Yeah. And the trees are really like bending. But when we were, when we were out yesterday, there was a branch came down, wasn't there? Yeah. We were very good because we got out and moved it. Yeah. I mean, I, I, it did look like a massive branch, but I mean, it was big, but it was light. But yeah. but on the way home, when I was driving home, there were a couple of other branches and trees. Yeah. yeah. So it wasn't, I thought it's, we thought originally something had driven under it, but I, it mustn't have been, it must have been the wind. I think there'd been like a tornado come through central Lincolnshire. Do you like, oh. do you like mug? Oh, very nice. Upside down teddy bear. Oh, yes. Can you see? Let me put it against my iPad. You could see there was... Yes. Upside down teddy bear. Oh, Mandy's got a heating on. Mandy, I, I, I nearly gave in. I might have to put the heating on just to try and dry the wall. Um, I've left Dad downstairs with a roaring fire. I know. It's, it is it is chilly, feels chilly, doesn't it? Like, yeah. brrr. anyway, but, May, April, I think, oc May, October, October. 
Mock <laughs> I couldn't get my words there. I couldn't think of it. Mocktober. Excuse me, I'm a bit bunged up today. Hot drink. That's why I've got hot juice in me teddy bear mug. Nice. Because um, I'm just a small child at heart. Well. Well, we've had an exciting week, haven't we? Yeah, let's start with that, shall we? Let's start with that. We both said, and I really haven't got much knitting this week at all. I don't feel like I've done much at all. Yeah. So we haven't got, like we said, we've not got too much today. So chuck some questions at us. If there's anything you want to talk about, those of you that are online now, ask yeah. us some questions because I've got a few bits of knitting. Nothing really new, though. So I've got a new thing, but that's so it. Throw some bit, so throw some things at us. But yeah, we went to look at the event. Before we start, well, that's, uh, what I just wanted to update everybody about the pigeon. Oh, pigeon. Pigeon so, did. Last Friday, those of you that were watching, I'd found two dead, dismembered pigeons, one in the front and one in the back garden. And the one in the back garden had been there a few days and I'd just left it hoping someone else would take it away. And the one in the front had appeared Friday morning and my 80 plus year old neighbour went out with a rubber glove and a black bag and just dealt with it. So when I came off the podcast, I put my bug girl pants on and I went out and I got rubber gloves and I went and got it on my garden fork and then I balanced it on the table so it was off the ground and horizontal and then I got a rubbish bag and just put it over the end and then put it in the bin. I was a big brave soldier everybody. Was there any involuntary screaming? No I was quite, it was planned, it was very good. When, like I kept saying I was so intrigued but you'll all be pleased to know I took the lead off my elderly neighbour and thought right let's just go and do it so it's gone and we've not had any more perfect so whatever it was last week the wind's blown it away the wind's taken it away oh i'm so pleased about that that's really good i'm pleased that you were able to do that yes so right now we can talk about our exciting week so we went we we went yesterday and had a meeting with the um owner of um, Hemsworth Court, where we're having the retreat for July. And it's going ahead! Yay! We're being very, you know, there's no reason at the minute why things shouldn't open up. So if everything goes to plan, it will be going ahead. Yes. Um, so it was lovely. So we, we had a look at the rooms again. and Because we went for afternoon tea at some point. I think it was September when we were allowed. Yeah, I think it was. Yeah. But that was in a different room to where we're going to be so actually we've not seen them rooms for, for 18 months well, yeah, I was going to say at least a yeah. year so it was just nice so nice being back in that space and so it was big and opulent as I'd remembered it's lovely because the bit if you saw some photos we took on social media the big sort of dining uh, uh, living room area where the big Dominic's really upset because obviously we're going in July and there's a big massive fireplace so the fire is more than likely not going to be on. Be so on. I'm very upset about that. So Dominique is now frantically thinking, when can we book another one to go, to, to have a, a fire in? To have the fire in. So um, we're um, there's loads of sofas to sit on, loads of comfy chairs, loads of light. Oh, it's so nice. And then we've got the big dining room, um, loads more space in there to sit, and we've got another sitting room. The um, tea. Um, it's so, a smaller room, but there's plenty of sofas in there, isn't there? I know I'll be the only one, but on your first night, it is the Euro Cup final, the Euro final. So, you know, if you want to watch it, there's a really... Yeah, there's a... TV. Well, don't forget, everybody's got TVs in their own rooms, haven't they? They've all got their own TV, room, TV in yeah. their room. Yeah. Um, so it was really nice to see that um, it can go ahead. We'll all be able to eat together, um, which is lovely. Um, yes. So we've gone through the menus, which is fantastic. So that's all sorted. Yeah. Um, yeah, we're really looking forward to it now, aren't we? Can't believe it's coming. Um, yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, we always knew, but you, with this last oh, 18 months has shown, you just can't, you don't know what's happening from one yeah. month to the next. So we've had to wait for it to get this close. Yeah. For us to really be able to start and, to get. And I mean, so. yeah. We, we know it's expensive, it's luxury, because you've got your all your accommodation um, and all your meals, um, free tea and coffee, 
through the day. If you want alcohol, you know, there is a bar so you can buy your own alcohol and whatever. But, um, I mean, if you were to stay there, because they do run it as a hotel as well, um, if you were to stay there, the, you know, just to stay one night, no meals included, it's about 150 upwards to stay there in, in the room. So, you know, when you think what you're getting in the price, it's a, you know, it's a, it's a good deal. It's a good deal. Beautiful gardens. Yeah. Marie swing. There's a swing. There's a big swing. It's like, you know, like on um, Secret Garden or something. Yeah. So if the weather's good, we can go for walks. Um, a lovely. Yeah, lovely. Uh, yeah, we can eat outside. We can, yeah, lots of things to do. So we were like two giddy children yesterday. Dominique's already chosen a chair and it's not the one you think. So the big little commented, it's not the one you think. But it was funny when she said, this is where I'll be sitting. Actually, I, I did say that, and it, that would be mine, but I don't think I'll be doing that much sitting. No, we'll be mingling, Dominique. Yeah. In pyjamas. Yes, bring your posh pyjamas. Yeah. Or... So we did warn, we did warn Sean, the guy who, who runs it up there, you know, we may be in our pyjamas all day, not a problem. And where it is, um, we've got sort of one wing, haven't we? So one whole wing is ours to wander around and do what we're liking, so... Yeah, really looking forward to it now. So everybody who has booked and was asking, you know, what's happening, um, I'll be sending emails out hopefully tonight, tomorrow morning at the very latest um, with the extra invoicing and um, your um, your guest information because we need to know when you come in and if there's anybody else with you and such and like and your, and your meal, um, if you've got any... Um, dietary requirements we need those as well so we will be sending those out this weekend yeah um, and we've had a f quite a few people interested as well we've got a few rooms left um but it's you know we have it, there's not how many rooms are there all together 20 25 aren't there yes yeah. 24 25 and some of those are we have offered on the majority of them are single occupancy in the yes. room um but there is not yeah, there is an option of twin, and I think there's one. Is there two family rooms left or one? I, I'm, I can't remember. You can have a check. So there is an option if you wanted to come and come with your friend and, and yeah. stay in the same room. There is that option. A room as well, isn't there? Yeah, there's a double and a single with a bathroom in the middle that you That's share. Like one Jack and Jill one, yeah. So um, yeah, so it's all really exciting. So we now need to, you know, we're getting our thinking caps on of what we can do and different things. So yeah, be good. Will be, but yeah, that was really nice. We've kind of been waiting to go and see Sean up there for weeks and weeks. And we kept saying, we can't do anything till May the 17th came. Yeah. To see what the government's doing. So all systems go. All systems. And like we said before, um, if it has to be canceled because of the government saying that COVID restrictions say, events like that cannot go ahead then money you, you will get you'll get all your money back but obviously if you decide not to go for whatever reason um once you've paid i'm afraid it, it's down to your travel insurance then we reckon we have recommended that you take travel insurance and again if you become ill um that will fall down onto your travel insurance as well but all the terms and conditions are on our website anyway so if you look under the retreat all of the um terms are there so yeah. and if you've got any questions just ask us um and we found out and um, if people aren't coming on their own steam um sort of the nearest train stations are lincoln gainsborough and retford depending on where um where you're coming into um i mean lincoln for the closest retford's a bit further out but it is but it depends which which area you're coming to doesn't it but then you'd probably have to get a taxi and you did some pricing didn't you yeah not for Retford, just no. because I've so it's far out. Way. Um, Gainsborough and Lincoln were both be like between 20 and 25 pounds. So yeah. uh, Lincoln's further, but it's obviously the city and there's more taxi companies and whatever. So it yeah. was the price regardless yeah. of distance. So, yeah. so, um, so there's plenty of options. But if you've got any questions, you know, if you're interested in going and you've got any questions, just drop us an email before or send us a message and we'll answer your questions. So, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. So, yeah, if anybody's got any questions they want to talk about today, just shout us with some questions. Um, 
we've been busy with the uh, board game um, <laughs> themes, haven't we? Yeah, things have been arriving in the post as the extras, which are always fun to see. Um, that, I think, um, I was going to do it this weekend. I might wait and get, get all the dying done, but... Yeah, we've had lots of orders, so thank you again. And we've got a few, we have got a few slots left, so... Um, yeah, let's go. But yeah. there's not many left. There's not many left, is there? But it is yeah. funny because we we like plan it all so we know what we're doing for the next six months and like order everything we need. So it's been funny seeing all the little bits and pieces coming that we've got to put in. With you it. people, because they're all come to you. So I've only seen them like as we were ordering them, not yeah. flesh as it were. But I might um, share them with her. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. I'll wait and see. <laughs> Might just keep them on going, no, never arrived. No, never arrived. Oh, dear. But oh, yeah. I, I know what. Um, I'll show you some photos because, of course, I sent off, I finally finished Grace's cardigan. It was a really quick knit. Bear yes. in mind, I bought the wool and picked it up at about five o'clock last Saturday. And it was finished on Monday morning. I was just sewing it all together. So it was a really quick knit. And I was doing other stuff at the same time. Size needle knitting it on? Size 10. I mean, size 10, it was hilarious because it was really quite... I've forgotten how difficult it is to knit with bigger needles. Everybody thinks, oh, learn to knit with bigger needles. I think it's harder. Well, I think, because you were still doing them on circulars, I think if you're doing like a 10 mil or anything above about a 7, I think they're much easier on straight needles. I couldn't because it was big, big bits. No. But what I'm saying, oh, when right. yeah. it's because your needles are so short, when they're on your cable, there's such a big gap. I always, I just find that they don't, it doesn't run onto your needles easily. But uh, even, it's just the manoeuvring of them. I don't think, I, if I was teaching somebody to knit, I don't think I would go with bigger needles. But it was funny because I went then, I was knitting in between that and my cardigan, my Sunday cardigan, which is on seven. And I started knitting with the seven. I was thinking, God, these needles are small. How am I going to feel when I get under me three mils? So if anybody hasn't seen it on social media, that's, that's it finished. I mean, that looks like you took it in a different season. The sun's out. <laughs> I know. I know the sun's out. I mean, look, I even put a label in it. Oh, did Grace right. pick the colours? And that's the back. Yeah, Grace chose those colours. Um, it fits her perfectly. Um, she's just been really busy, so I haven't had a chance for any photos yet. So when she does, I'll stick the photos on. But it fits her perfectly. She wanted it short, wide and chunky. So, so what that was it? I knew you were going to say that. Um, I did put it on the post. I think it's, it's a free pattern from Lion Brand, which is an American company. And I think it's called the Colonia cropped cardigan but it was a free pattern obviously it was just the shape it was just the shape pattern and i just did it in those different colors but it was really simple and easy to knit up yeah um but she likes it so and what what did you use in the end what wool i used um stylecraft super chunky and one of them was like the, the orange colour was, um, you know, with the neps in, the tweedy, they call it, don't they? And then the other one was just was just normal. Yeah. So, um, yeah, it knit up really well. And she wanted it long, so the sleeves do look a bit longer. So she wanted it long so that they, like, puff out, you know what I mean? They're, like, a bit baggy. Yeah. So I was pleased it fit. Excellent. Yes. What's what's been ordered next? I don't know, but all I've said is I'm not doing any more crocheting because that really does hurt the wrists. I have offered to teach her to crochet, which she said, yeah, yes, please. Yeah. So when she's finished her final pieces for her final year at uni, then she'll probably, yeah, I might teach her then. Or You'll pay, be left-handed. Or pay somebody else to teach her. She is left-handed. And we always had this problem, but she can do things, but she's ambidextrous. I know, but I would just like to see you teaching her left-handed. I'd like to see me teaching her full stop. I mean, it'll just be hilarious anyway, won't it? Because we are exactly the same personality. Lovely Gracie. Um, I, when I used to teach her things, though, I used to do it in, like, sat in front of her. Yeah. Yeah, That that's the easiest way. Yeah. But if not... Um, I mean, there's plenty of YouTube things she can find. And she's so, very practical. Do you know what I mean? It's not, 
Yeah. 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 As me, as me, uh, father-in-law would say, she's got a good pair of hands on her. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, um, yeah, that'll be good. So she can crack on and make whatever she wants. Then she did send me loads of things like handbags, loads of other things. I just went, whoa, 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 whoa. No more crocheting. Thank you. And thank you, uh, Tracy, for sending me more images of dresses. They were beautiful. I've told her I am not crocheting anymore. I'll knit, but not crocheting. And yeah. if it's with super chalky, it's going to be really quick as well. Yeah, exactly. It's when she comes and says, I really like this. It's a lace weight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, I don't think that'll happen. Don't think that'll happen. So, well, I only have one new cast on. Let's see it. Well, it's my friends. You know, the Joey. Um, yes. The mini yes. Games. Um, I decided, I contacted Castle, Castle View yeah. Yarns um, because I'd missed Monica, which was the very first one. I've ordered Phoebe, which is the next set. And I've now, and she said she was going to release that. I might as well get them. So I'll have Monica and Phoebe coming at the same time. So I thought I'm going to make a blanket. And I did look at the hibernation one, but then I decided on the oh, the north northwesterly. Um, so I'm starting that and just trying to do it a bit random. And I'm going to just do it with all the friends' skeins because I'll have five sets. Um, so that's the that's the right side there. So I've literally just started that. And I've only gone for that because I did start doing the um, mm -mm, hibernation. But I thought it's going to end up on big needles. And especially if I want to use all my friend's yarn, it is going to end up like really, really wide, isn't it? Where this, it's always going to be, I know you pick up, but you're only going to be knitting along a small amount of stitches. And the thought of like maybe ending up with 300 stitches. 400 stitches it never gets that big though does it well it does if you if you i wanted to use all of the skeins you see and so sorry i would have kept going until i was halfway so it would have been bigger than what the actual pattern is oh you were always going to do it as a square not a rectangle no i was going to do it as a square Bye. so um it would have been a lot of stitches so i thought at least that I could, it's not too many stitches on the needle then is it so that's all i was thinking i was just being lazy yeah. Um, who knows? But they look, yeah. I mean, they do look a bit strange together, those colours like that, I must admit. I did contemplate putting an undyed in between them, and I don't know whether... Tell me what you think. I, I'm not sure whether it needs an undyed in between them, just to break it up a bit. I'm not sure. I, I... They don't go together, do they? Like that, I don't think. What's your other two? I think it's really difficult when you start things. I know, that. So next I'm doing that and then that. Right. But I just didn't know whether putting like a little band of undyed in between it would break it up a little bit, do you know what I mean? I might have been tempted to put your speckled third. But that's got the green in, that one has actually got that green in it. Oh, has it? You a can't... very small amount of it, it has got green in it, where there's no green in that, that colour. Right. So there's the red, the red's in there. Yeah. And that is in the red. So that was my theory, but I'm, I don't know. I might unpick it and put some cream in between. I don't know. I'm not, I like it. I love the pattern and I love the colours, but I'm just not sure on those together. Yeah, you know it, is, I mean? it is really difficult because the way it is, you're going to have columns, aren't you? So you might change it there, but then you're going to have to think about your column next to it, aren't you? Well, then that's the other thing, you see, because you could, I did look at one blanket that had been done and it was equal chevron, so it was like equal, that colour, then cream, that colour, then cream, and then when you did it the opposite way, you did it so that the cream was next to a colour and... Do you know what I mean? Right. So I might do that. Who knows? But I, yeah. I love the pattern. I think the whole point of them is 
it is like using up your, I know they're, they're not scraps, but I think. Yes. I don't know, what you've just described sounds a bit too. Uniform. Uh, yeah. But it did look nice. I'll try and see if I can find the pattern of it. Um, talk amongst yourselves. Yeah. What, what's it I, called again? Northeast. Northeasterly. Um, yeah, I suppose it, it does depend on how you're doing it. And you're not doing it uniformly there, are you? Because you're doing no. them different lengths. So. Yeah. Um, I mean, it would help if I knew how, how to use this, Marie, for heaven's sake. So what are you going to do? Are you going to do, like, use all of your Joey and then all of your Monica and all, all right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So you are going to have blocks of colours anyway, aren't you? Yeah. I don't... I, I'm still not... Yeah. Who knows? I, I would carry on... Right. I, I'm saying her advent wrap's got queen between... That's, what, I, that's what I'd seen. Yeah. Yeah, I suppose it just changes it completely, doesn't yeah. it? And I quite like that, because I think it breaks it up a bit. Well, then it's going to be a thousand... Then it's going to be a ki kilogram of wool. No, 1.2 kilograms of wool. Yeah. Because I've got, I've got 100 grams here, 500 grams, yeah. Six, you're going to have six, aren't you? The six characters. The six characters. So that's 600 times two, it's going to be 1.2 kilos. Oh, it'll be nice and snuggly. It'll be like a weighted blanket. Oh, my God. I think that might be too big. I mean, I'm only this far and I'm not sure, so we've got, we've got a long way to go, haven't we? Yeah. Well, you see, I, yeah, I, would, I think I would be tempted to keep going and get your second column. Because I just think it's really difficult to see. Unless I did a few columns in the Joey and then when the other wall comes, then I can pick it up and not have Joey next to Joey. Well, that's what that's all I was thinking. And if that's the case, why not wait till you get your next three? Oh, then... that's, that's months. Is she not sending you Monica now? No, Monica's coming with Phoebe. And when's Phoebe coming? Um, next month, I think. Is it a month? Might be a month. July right. then. June. I don't know. Something beginning with the J, I think. Well, June is next week. July. It's July then. So, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Or maybe I should have just used all my Joey in the blue. Oh, what, what, have one column is just blue and then... Yeah. Maybe Ooh. that's what I should have done. And then yeah. if I needed to, I could just knit them all. And then I know you're supposed to pick them up and knit them, but I could sew them. I haven't got an issue with sewing them. Yeah. That might look better, might not it? That, that might look nice. We get there in the end, so I because just need... Then, then you can just knit columns and wait for all your others, and then you can have... I can piece them together, can't I? Yeah. If I really wanted to, I could knit cream in between them, couldn't I? I could join them with cream, pick the stitches up. Yeah. Oh! <gasps> That's what I'm going to do, Dominique. Thank you. I th yeah. I, th I think that's why blankets like that are so nice, because depending on how, what you do with it, it looks completely different, doesn't it? I do like the pattern, because the pattern's really nice and easy just to sit in. I do think if you do alternating cream and a colour, I just think, like... 1.2 kilos of yarn might be just too big. <laughs> just too big. Maybe. Maybe I'll do that then. Maybe I'll do that then. I'll just do a Zoe, uh, I'll just do a stripe of Ichaban and then a stripe of how you doing. Yeah. Yes, that might be a better idea. And then once you've got all of them, you can just play around with how. So yes. they need to have. 
30 stripes to play with, aren't you? Yes. Depending on how long you're going to get out of one minute. And I don't mind sewing them together if I just decide to sew them together. I, yeah. yeah. <gasps> or I could crochet them together. Yeah. With cream, just so it's got one chain up the middle. Oh, yeah. who knows? Right, anyway. What you make, what have you cast on? What's your new cast oh, on? But how, how long a strip is a mini going to make? I'll tell you when I finish one. Because oh. that's going to then, de uh, yeah. Well, let's see it take shape. Well, let's, let me pull it out now because then I can I can just crack on with the blue card. So while you're talking, um, I'll just pull that out. <laughs> so, Marion saying, but you end up frogging it. She likes the cream in between. Yeah, well, I do, Marion, I must admit. So, I don't, I, it, hello, hello. You, you see, froggy, frog, frog. Um, Ribbit. Yeah, and and yeah. Let's just see. Let's just see how they um, how they go. And that's it. Live, it's being frogged. Right. So what have you? Oh, look, I'm losing everything now. Everything's falling. Oh, oh, hey, my stitch mark. There it is. There's my stitch marker. Don't don't lose everything. Oh. Oh, it's just a little ring. Just a little one. A little ring. Right. Right, what 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 are you doing, Dominique? Well, I've got a new cast on as well. So I'm just I've lost my other one now. Where's that gone? I mean, how can you lose something? I've literally just opened the bag. Right, what have you cast on? I can't have gone far. Um I, well. About two weeks late, but I have cast on the May Rome socks from the Eight Socks Around the World pattern. Very good. God, you cracked on with that. So, and this is genuinely what the pattern should look like. Are you sure with this time? Are you sure? <laughs> This month, I decided I would follow the pattern to the letter. Um, the just, the just curling, um, but I really, really like it. It's like a um, smock stitch. That is really pretty. I yeah. like the picture. It, this one's so easy. It's a fourteen row repeat. Yeah, 14 row repeat and 12 rows are identical. So it's only your two rows that you do the smocking. Yeah. Uh, it's a really pretty pattern, isn't it? Really pretty. That really would look nice on the top of a yoke, wouldn't it? That smocking pattern. Yeah. That would a jumper would look nice in that. Yeah. Or you could have like one row of smocking down your all oh, down your sleeve. Oh. <gasps> That Come on, nice. Just get like one row of that down the side of your sleeve or something. Or so, even the same width as that of your sock. Yeah. I mean, we're coming up with all sorts today, aren't we? Um. So yeah, I suddenly thought I'd been faffing around doing other things and thought, oh, <laughs> um, I need to, I need to crack on with Rome. Yeah. Because June's going to be here, so. Um, I I do always do them two at a time, but this time because I was so far behind, I thought, well, I better get one done, which is why I've cracked on so well because there's just one. So I managed to get because it's so miserable, and I've been sat in waiting. I managed to get the heel turn this morning. Wow. So well um, done, good job that delivery was late then. It was, and that it was miserable. Uh, it was like it was the orders kept pinging in. I was like, oh. Like 30 minutes before the order's due, I can whiz out and... Because I can't hear deliveries when I'm in the shed. So I managed to get them done and then after it as well. So, yeah, that is the Rome sock, which should look... I mean... I am listening. I'm just picking up stitches. When I say should look, 
just so I've picked the pattern up, I realise it doesn't look identical, but it should look something like that. And I've just gone up the leg and I'm not doing it all the way around. That's what I've just realised. But actually, I like... So, so hang, hang on, hang, hang on a minute. You're not doing it as the pattern says again, are you? Well, everything is as the pattern says. I've just... Except. Not to take the pattern round the back of the leg. Right. Because let's face it, who sees it? Nobody. Nobody, so, Dominique. Yeah, that was as I, that's as I picked up after I'd done the heel. I didn't think. Because the last ones I've not done round the back of the leg. No. So. Have you seen and, Joanne's comment? Joanne's gone freestyle as well. Oh, thank you. Yeah, much easier than the Paris. Much easier to read. To I mean, I can't. Oh, I've just thrown it down. But maybe she listened. I mean, she, I know she absolutely didn't listen. But um, this one, you only got one column of pattern rather than two columns, right. which is did me last time. So Joanne did. Um, changed it up but she's done the circles did three rows of the smock but isn't it such a nice pattern John and it is easy and it is nice to do um, so that one will that be hasn't taken you long then has it no that's take I mean a week I didn't cast it on till oh do you know what I've written not, I've not written this in my book oh. um, when did I cast it on Sunday maybe, um, but because it's such an easy pattern, I've been able to knit this knit a natter. So I got nearly two pattern repeats knit on Wednesday night knit a natter. Very so cool. Make it shoot up quite a bit. Very um, cool. So that is my. I need to write that in my book. My cast on, and I'm still. I've not got to the. I've not got used to pull the ball from the outside of this cake very good um yeah so i am enjoying that one it's quick i'm liking it well talking of socks i finally finished because dad's here so i've finished one sock one of his bed socks is finished that's oh, finished yes i'm using the um winnick mum easy um double knit plain sock I'm just turning the heel now on the other one, so that'll be finished. I might even get that finished tonight, that one. Um, and I'm using a Life Double Knit by Stylecraft because it's 72% um, acrylic, 25% wool, 3% viscose. Because um, the last ones, I, I made them out of all wool and they'd all, he, he'd worn them down a bit. Right. Um, so I'm making them with acrylic in now. So oh, I'll did... have that finished. Do they fit? Yeah, they fit. So I, that's why I was I was waiting for him to come so I could try it on. So last night I just needed to make sure that the toe that I'd got enough on the foot. So yeah, they fit. So now I've written it all down the sizes. I'm all right. But he, I'll get no. that finished tonight. Down with that one then. Adam, are you going cuff down? Yeah, I've, do, I've gone cuff down on that one. Um, but now now I know his foot dimensions. I'm I'm all right. So I can just yeah. crack on. So they're just bed socks, so they're just big, snuggly socks. He, well, did say, he did say I look like Santa's little helper in them. And he will need them at the minute. He will need them at the minute because he's flipping freezing. Although he won't need it at the minute because he's sat down in front of the fire downstairs. <laughs> there you So Now he's got them and he knows you know his size, you'll just be, yes, please, another pair. Yes, please. Another pair. I'm hoping these last longer than those woolen ones because they have literally, they've just all come apart. Did they not have any nylon in them? No, because it was the um, West Yorkshire Spinners Croft, which is 100% wool. Uh... And they just literally, I mean, they, he hasn't had them, a, he's had them a year, hasn't he? But he only wears them in bed and they have all come apart and the wool's gone really thin. He obviously rubs. He must rub his feet and it's not his toes, it's like on the it's on the heels of his feet, and so he uh, must move his feet. But even still, do you know what I mean? 
They've yeah. worn really badly, really. Yeah. It'd have been no, if he'd been wearing those as boots. Well, that's what I was no. just thinking. They'd have, been no, they'd have been no good on the heel. They would have just completely worn through, which I was surprised at, but there you go. Yeah, well, he's got another pair coming, so... Yeah. Anybody got any more? Anybody got any questions they want to know about? The other ask us something. Staying on the same sock. thing as a question, Marie. Mm. Staying on the sock theme, we're nearly Ooh, at a decent length with Barbara. I haven't so, even started doing anything with with mine. And this is just. I've not got that much done, but I've not really got much else to show but you. You're so. doing an afterthought heel on that, aren't you? <laughs> Um, so I am thinking that I am probably, I mean, it's very difficult. I think I am probably about, well, I think that's longer than I would normally knit a sock. Well, why don't you try it on? Because I won't get my foot in. You will if you put them on longer needles. I don't know, you <laughs> knit like that. I, I, I would do. I, do you know what? I really just enjoyed it. Good. I understand now, and I've seen people that just knit tubes. I know a lot of them crank them out on a sock machine, but just knitting tubes and then putting your toe, putting everything on as an afterthought, I can see the, I can see with stripes how you get a bit like, just, I'm just going to get some to the next. People, some people wouldn't wear those just like that. Hang on one moment. Yes? <laughs> Hand language? It's on there. No, no, we're on to everybody. Is there anything important you need to know? You've just been, you're hungry. Go away. Go and feed yourself. You're an adult. Go and feed yourself, for goodness sake. Honestly. Oh, I mean, is this hunger from lunch or hunger for tea? No, it probably means that there's no biscuits in the biscuit barrel. That's probably what it means. I mean, for heaven's sake, you're a grown man. Get a grip. Um, but I mean, I've got, I've got, I've got my, got my stripy socks on. They might you, you said some people wouldn't wear them just like that. Some people would wear them just like that without the healing. Oh, I see. Sorry. Yes. Well, don't think I'm not being tempted. And if when I put my cuff on... Why not? Can you hear the phone ringing? Yeah. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Well, let me just talk over till he goes downstairs so we don't have to listen to any of his conversation. I'm speaking very loudly now. Please go downstairs, Mr Hammond. Now you're expecting him to listen on the phone and listen to you. So Can you hear him? Hang on. Just, hang on. I'm just going to mute myself. Just one moment. Let me. I mean, I'm going to mute myself. Don't... I, thought, I thought it was your dad that had interrupted. Um, I need to weigh that. I've not weighed that. But it just feels like there's so much yarn left on there. That's why I think I've kept going, because... I should really just stop, put a cuff on it, knit this next pair the same, and then I'll probably get a pair of shorties out of it as well. But I love this wool so much. I love the colour so much. I don't want to leave any. I mean, honestly, I think, no, I think they look nice, but you probably could just wear them like that. Some people do and don't put heel in, do they? They just wear them as like slouchy socks. Well, let's face it, I don't wear them anyway, but... No, you don't. I might wear these. I have tried, I have two or three times put a pair of hand knit socks on recently, just while I've been in the house. But I mean, uh, honestly, I'm sat here and all I can eat is Dave on the telephone, and now all I can eat is Scooby snoring and the door is shut. I mean, he's snoring so loud, it's ridiculous. I live in a madhouse. I can't hear either. I can't hear oh. either. So, um, yeah. That they're not other than they've got longer, they've not really changed. But by next week, I might just put a cuff on them and start on the next one. Why don't you put the cuff on and, and try them on and then see if you want to put the afterthought heel in? Yeah. Yeah. I kind of I do want to, just because I've always wanted to do it and have a try at doing yeah. it. But that's really just because to make it look pretty rather than out of functionality. Yes, says Sarah. Why do you not wear your knitted socks? Sarah, I don't know why she doesn't wear her knitted socks. Because they're really, really uncomfortable. 
because I can feel the stitches. And I'm really There's something not, wrong with your knitting, love, if you can feel your stitches. I'm really not precious about things, but... And I've said to you, when you got that 52 weeks of sock book, I feel like I need them inside out. I so don't I, understand how you can feel anything on your socks. I can't feel anything. I can feel like the pearl bumps. It must be the way you knit them. But... I, I just... I can't feel the pearl bumps on mine. I'm, I'm now taking my, my snocks off. It's I when mean, I walk. I can't feel them without walking, but they just... It's like, inside. Well, that's because you've worn them for a long time. Yes, I know, but they're normally smooth. But they're not, are they? Because you've got your ridges there. Like, I can are feel... You a princess? Are you like the princess in the pea who could feel a pea underneath her? Maybe you're a princess. I mean, I will wear anything or nothing normally bothers me but this it just i can just feel nicola says the same i mean i've never experienced well maybe that, you do need to knit your socks inside out on your soul so yeah that and that book i said to you has it got any yeah. in well it had but actually they were just knit inside out so I really want the... Well, I must just have... I just must have tough feet because I can't feel any bumps on mine. Oh, I'm pleased I'm not the only... But even doing that, even... I can feel, but you can't feel it that way. So that's why I'm starting to wear... I'm trying to harden my feet up and wear them around the house. The double-knit ones that I've done seem more comfortable than... It seems probably... I would have thought the opposite because you would have thought the bumps would have been bigger. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. So thank you, Nicola. I'm not the only one. That's why I don't wear them because they're... And I will wear anything and my feet will go in anything and I walk around without bare foot all through the summer. So I'm so not... you got with normal socks that you wear on your feet? But normal socks are so thin, aren't they? Well, not your, like, work socks. You know, like, boot socks you would wear. I mean, we're going down a rabbit hole here, aren't we? Uh, yeah. Boot socks. Oh, they are. Well, but they've not got that... When you look at it... A... Hang on. Hang on, I've got a boot sock here. Stand by. When you look at a commercial pair of socks, you don't see... Well, I don't know why. A commercial I... pair of socks. I can't answer that, but... Boot the... socks. Well, I suppose because they're like, they are pearl. They are, but they're not They're not the same as a hand-knit pearl, are they? Uh, I mean, who knew? Who knew? You see, so Nicola and I are both the same. We're trying to enjoy them. And I, I mean, a year ago, I was like, I hate socks, socks. Why would people knit socks? I enjoy the process of knitting socks. I've gifted quite a few pairs of socks. But you really enjoy knitting them now, don't you? On DPNs. Yeah. I really enjoy it. Uh, Barbara's so then, so, Dominique loves knitting socks but doesn't wear them. Barbara's on DPNs, Roma on DPNs. Um, so, yeah, that's why, Sarah. Morning, Judith. Morning, Judith. I hope um, you're better, better wet. You're, I don't have got somebody else's teeth in. I hope your weather's better than ours. Pouring down here. Breathing cold and pouring down. Yeah. Um, but I enjoy knitting them because they're Good. fairly... I mean, I did used to say they used to take forever. They do seem to be fairly quick-ish to knit, compared to the jumper, obviously. But they're easy for me to take to work to have at yeah. lunch, just to sit in my car at lunchtime or whatever. So um, I wouldn't take a big project and sit in my car and knit a big project. That like was a me. blanket with a kilo and a half of wool. Yeah, no one can see particularly, but it's a bit cumbersome when you sat. You just want something small, yeah. don't you? Yeah. So, yeah. Um, yeah, so there you go. We all have our little oddities. Yeah, we do. Like, I don't hate using DPN, like wrestling with the hedgehogs. Yeah. Well, I mean, I did. It's only in the last year, 
but I find them just so much easier to knit with. And me, when I make my socks, of course, I only have like a tiny amount of rib on the top because of my huge cankles. I can't yeah. wear ribbed socks. I hate them. Like really yeah. tight ribbed socks. Can't stand them. So Why do you put any rib on them? Sometimes I don't put any rib. Sometimes I literally just, well, I might That's do one row, but sometimes I don't because then they just, well, they never roll down because of my ankles. Yeah. Oh, to our beautiful slender ankles. Yeah, no, but then but, you fall down. Yeah, my socks would fall down, exactly. But it's like today when I was about to do the dyeing earlier, I needed my wellies on and I've not got socks on. Don't put socks on just to put in your wellies because then they roll down anyway, so... I can't show you this at the minute because I've done my usual trick. A row? I've stopped in the middle of a row. Well, while you're getting to the end of your row, let me show you. This is... All this is, is like a ball and a bit of wool that's been added from last week. So there really doesn't look like this much, but it's growing. I do love that neckline. That neckline I, is really pretty. I really like it. Really nice. Um, and I really don't particularly like garter in a garment because it's just this detail on the neck. The bumps again. No. I don't, I, it's just I prefer... I much prefer stockinette, but because it's the detail... It looks really pretty, though, doesn't it? It makes the... It, it really adds the detail to it. So, um, I've, I've put another ball and a bit in, and I was tempted to, um, when I joined this last ball, to go back and do the sleeves, but I've only got one set. I can't believe I've only got one set of 3.75 neat circulars i've not got any um interchangeable 375s either so i would have to take the body i'd have to put them onto some more needles to a get fair set because i have a couple of pairs of 375s stand by that might be that, so that's the reason, that's the reason i've not done it when i'm doing a, a top down jumper i will quite often Put the sleeves in before I finish the body um, and kind of do them all at the same time. But I mean, what I could just, what I could just do, I know what, I've got loads, oh, but not 375s, they're all either zero zeros or halves. Um, I'm sure. Three seven fives there. I've got a spare pair because I know I've got I've got something else on. So yeah, you can borrow those. Just put a really long um, yeah cable got... through the body with your three seven fives on, and then I can knit my sleeves on these. Yeah. And then it's just me, rather than like oh you finished the body, go back to the sleeves. If your sleeves are half done while you're going down the body at the same time, I've find it easier and it's easy for trying on as well because you can yeah yeah it is yeah. definitely this is a, the patterns a three-quarter length sleeve I I've really... got some wooden ones as well oh yes please I just need to it, check the size of them it's a three-quarter sleeve and I'm not I don't particularly enjoy three-quarter sleeves so I'll probably do mine longer or until I run out of yarn Whichever comes to I might make, oh, what are they? I was going to say, I might make you happy because I've got these weird ones that I don't like. But there are three. Oh, I was so going to say. Five. Three, seven, fives are just, they seem to be an odd, not an odd I know side. I have a few because I do, I do use three, seven, fives. Yeah. Anyway, there's some purple ones there that you can borrow. When you pick the, when you drop the wool off, you can use them. I have a feeling there's those these wooden ones are 375. Hang on. That is just a lot of clattering. Mm. Perfect. Thank I'll you. Them out. I'm not sure what size they are. I just need to measure those. It's not the end of the world, but when I joined that last ball, I thought, oh, I really should just cast on the sleeves and it, it just got too much in the oh I too diff not too difficult, but just couldn't be bothered. Yeah. So I'll, I'll just keep going. So um, that's it. That's 
I mean, I will have other things in bags, or, but that is really all I'm knitting on at the minute. Two pairs of socks and a jumper. And I kind of... I'll show you how my progress on my Sunday card again, sorry. The other side now. I'm nearly up the other side instead of leaving it mid, in the middle, which is very naughty of me, but I do it all the time. Um, and now I'm attached to my sleeve. I mean, look, I mean, I mean, it's attached to my sleeve thing. There we go, get rid of that. Flip that. Do me seven, knit, pearl, knit. Oh, pearl, knit, pearl, pearl. Oh, honestly, I'm like knitting cack under here. Yeah. Why are you um, knitting handed? I don't know what I'm doing. Right. So, I'm cracking on with it. Oh. I mean, that looks like a little bolero. It does, doesn't it? Bolero, bolero. Do you know what? From a distance, you don't really see one colour pop. The closer you get, that's when you see that green. Green, yeah. yeah. So um, I'm on the, I'm just on, on the body bit now. So, yeah, it's like a little shorty cardigan, isn't it? It is. Yeah. You can't really see the sparkle, if I'm honest. As soon as you hold it up there, you gave us a flash, and then you just get all that flash of green. It is fab. But you can't see the sparkle in it, can you? No. no even even close up, I think it's just getting lost in it. There's a tiny bit. You Bye. notice a tiny bit of it. But yeah, I'm loving the colour. Um, yeah. I'm loving the colour of it. Um, so that's Summer Water from Wensleydale Longwall Sheep Shop and our Sparkle Coral Reef. Um dunk out of the way um and then I've, I've got i've worked i've got a little bit more on my dot oh, oh yeah what a surprise i mean every bag i've gone into what a surprise See, that really that really surprised because i would never ever stop if I, sometimes i sit there thinking oh i need a wee let me just get to the end of this row but you obviously just abandon everything mid row I just abandoned, just abandoned mid-row. I've obviously got engrossed in something. My dad was laughing at me the other day because I was sat and he said, do you never sit still? Because I was like sat, I was knitting, and I was oh, get up and go and do something. Oh, sit down again, get up and go, go, go and do something. He said, for God's sake, you're like a jack-in-the-box. I said, well, that's why I get so many steps done in a day. Then I'm up and down like a lunatic. Like I sit down and I start to knit and switch my brain off. And then all of a sudden I think, Something to do with such and such. Something pops into my head. So, so just uh, while you're getting to the end of your row, this is the dot shawl, and you're using your flower fairies by Giddy Arms. Yes. You see, I mean, and are undyed. My my notes is just perfect. Perfect. Um, um, yeah, I mean, I don't know how deep I'm going to make this, because I said I'm not making it a huge shawl, because I just wanted as a, just like a small shawlette, really. Yeah. Um, so when I really like, when it's got long enough, probably a bit like the size of the, um, probably a little bit bigger than the fisherman's shawlette, you know, that um, Becky designed for us. I don't really want it as a big shawl, I just want it as a little... Yeah, and it's really summer colours as well, so yeah. it's probably think you're ever going to wear in the depths of winter that you want it to be massive yeah, and yeah exactly yeah so um i don't want to make it too huge anyway no but yeah i mean why have i left everything in the middle of the row i mean there's uh, obviously some psychological thing there going on and if there was some psychotherapist out there could probably tell me why that that's going on i think it's because my brain's just so full I do push it down. I don't just like stop and put it away. I do like push my needles down. It's not like yeah. I just throw it. I do. I don't just leave it. I do push the needles down. Oh. Um. Nearly there. 
nearly there. Is there anything else that you have or want? I mean, it's going to be a fairly short one, this. I mean, we have been wittering an hour, haven't we? We have, but... Anybody got any burning questions? Ask us something. Da, 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 da. I've got to say thank you for whoever it was that recommended those um, DS Shaw book, books, was it? DS Bring Her Home. I've downloaded it, ready to read. I've finished my um, Nick Louth books. I've just listened to um, Body Under the Bridge. That's just yeah. reminding the, someone the I Gillard books. So now I'm on to the new ones of that lady. I can't remember who was it recommended it from Lincolnshire. Stories about in Lincolnshire. That's just gonna. Oh, is that who it was? DS yeah, Lath. DS. Like, I'm sure. Um, I'm just looking now because it was on our knitting that page. So I'm just gonna have a look. I can. Uh, it's on me. It's on me. Uh, what's it? So I've just downloaded that. So I finished the um, DCI Gillard one two days ago. I enjoyed that one. So I'm going to read, I'm going to listen to this next one. It was, oh, I've just got past last Friday because I've just... It's called I'm Bring Her Home. I'll bring them home. I mean, it would be easy if I just went on my audible, wouldn't it? I could tell you. Well, you, are you, you carry on knitting. I can oh. sort of do, where's my audible? Oh, I, can't, I thought it was on our Knit and Natter page, but I can't see it. No, I'm here. I'm, where's, it's DS Butler. D.S. Butler, and the book is Bring Them Home. Right. I'm just about to start that. Um, but, yeah, the last the last Nick Louth one I read, but Body Under the Bridge, was good. So I think that's the fourth one I've read in the season, or the fifth one. I'm not sure. Um, I think he's got another two. Did I get the Coral Reef shoes? I did, Sarah. I ordered them, and they were just too flat for me. In, like I put my insoles in and they were still too flat so I sent them back they weren't um, I just felt like I was walking like really flat which aren't, aren't good for me so yeah I sent them back which was a shame because I really liked them um, Sarah had ordered on knitting that to some rocket dog shoes trainers and they looked like coral reef right. but, oh I really liked them they were really nice but they weren't yeah they were just too flat for me to walk in so, I really like yeah. dogs Pardon? I really like rocket dogs. They were really nice, but they just weren't quite. I just they just weren't comfortable. I just they were too flat for me. So, yeah, um, yeah, they were on sale at M and M Direct. They should have been forty odd quid, and they were nineteen pound ninety nine. Really nice. So um, I did order them, but then they've gone back again. But they went straight back again because they didn't fit very well. So um, right, I'm at the end on me. On my last six stitches, so that's uh, knit one. Front and back. <laughs> this Yarn is over. with Marie. <laughs> knit one. Yarn over. Which is similar to Cook Along with Kathy. <laughs> yes, I enjoyed the Cook Along we had with Kathy the other night. It was very good. One it of our knit and natter ladies was um, cooking their meal while we were. Um, knit and nattering so she took us with the, the like the laptop into the kitchen well she was giving us helpful tips like wait if you've got a packet of frozen stuff in your freezer like veg or whatever use a bulldog clip to close it i really liked it i mean i use a peg sometimes but yeah i use, I use a peg so there it that's so pretty it is really pretty it's just delicate isn't it yeah, really, really pretty. Dot, dot, dash, dash. So, no, yeah, I... it's not going to need probably a few more, maybe another three, I think, and then that might be it finished. Yeah. Um, I bet that's... I, I take it you've still got loads left. I bet it's oh, not... I've got loads, yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Yes. I hardly use any of it, because you only use it every so often. Yeah, um, and then... Not using it the whole row either, are you? No, no. So, um, yeah. So that's that's all the pile of stuff I've got. So that is really pretty. Yeah, but yeah, that I was I was excuse me disappointed that it didn't they didn't fit those shoes because they were really nice and it's not like I haven't got a gazillion pairs of shoes and things anyway. But they were very nice and I was tempted. But you know when you try something on and you, and you try and convince yourself that they'll be absolutely fine. But they'll be fine. 
mm, no they won't I could feel I was like walking in them flat footed well well I think that's I've got nothing else I've got nothing else I feel like it's been a fairly we haven't talked about very much have we I mean we have sat and talked but you know what I mean Sometimes it's like that when we you could have fallen off your chair or something, couldn't you? And made it a bit, a bit funny or all. Sometimes it's like that when we're here every week. We've not always got exciting things. No, I've not Apart had any. The retreat, the retreat's exciting. Oh, the, but I'm sorry, I was just looking around because, like, quite often we've normally one of us has got something we've bought or had delivered, or I've hardly had any posts. I've got a big box of wool waiting to be dyed that was delivered earlier, but. That's well, about I've had lots of things to be delivered, but they're all for the board game, and I can't show you them, I'm sorry. No, definitely so They've not. all been delivered, which was fun, but I can't show you those. Um, I just think, I saw really, that's why I got distracted at some point. Um, thank you, Joanne. Joanne says she'd ordered that, and she's ordered something else, and yes, we'll put it all in one. Yes, I've seen that, yeah. Oh. I was looking at that, so yes, that's brilliant. Thank you, Joanne. Um, now, I'm just looking... I haven't even got anything interesting in my cupboards. I've got me, my wobbly lollies are still here. <laughs> they for next Easter. They're still there for next Easter. Um, it's just a bit... I've got nothing else. I mean, this is no good, is it? <laughs> How no. far are you getting on your walk? Where are you on your walk? Where am I on my walk? Oh, I mean, let me get mine. I think... I think I've just passed Banbury. I am, I, oh. I am just about to enter Newbury. So are you passed me. Hang on. I am I mean, just. It, that doesn't help because I don't really know where Newbury is. Newbury is north of Basingstoke. North of Southampton, if you did a straight line, I'm on the Northwest Downs. Area of outstanding beauty. Ah. Uh, I'm here. Yeah, you're near Didcot. Yes, you're just south of Didcot, yes. Yes, I'm, I am ahead of you. Um, I am between Banbury and Strat Stratford-upon-Avon. Oh. Um, just approaching... Oh, yes, I see where Banbury is, yeah. Just approaching the A46, which is a road I know and love very well. Well, I've done but, you, I've done 318.5 miles in 50 days. That's very good. I've done 394 in 70. So I'm cracking on. I'm averaging about six or seven miles a day. Oh, that is very good. Because I use it as I do my exercise and my walking, and I sort of add them together with my steps. And I'm I'm take my watch off if I'm knitting, because I have found, and we've said this before, my Apple Watch can clock up steps. So I do take it off when I'm knitting, so I know that my steps are all my steps. If that makes sense. Yes. Yeah. Um. um so yeah, at this rate, I should be I should have completed it by September, if I keep going the way I'm going. Does it tell you that, or do you just? You've just worked that out? I worked it out with maths, do Oh, I was thinking... It said, it said I had 765 miles left to do, and if I divide that by six or seven, it gives you the days, and then I worked it out to September. I was thinking, where do, where does it tell you on there? How but it far... tells me I am knocking it out of the park because I'm 170 miles ahead of time. I mean, thanks. I've never yeah. knocked anything out of the park, ever. Yeah. But I am it... keeping up with me... With me silly Nordic walking poles, I'm doing that, and I, I and I do me video on a morning as well. So, I, I mean, I'm so inconsistent because when I'm at work, you know, I do well to get my steps in. Well, you're working. I, yeah, but then when I'm days off, I do try and get a walk in. But then when it's daylight today, I'm going to really struggle to get my steps in today. So. Um, yeah, I just did me. I did my video. I did me our video this morning. So that normally clocks up about six thousand, six thousand, seven thousand steps. Yeah, and then I can try and get the rest of me of me ten thousand. But I'm averaging about 
12, 15,000 steps a day. That is very good. Um, I, I feel fitter. I feel a lot fitter. I haven't lost any weight, but I feel a lot fitter. And that's all I wanted, really. I just wanted to feel a bit fitter. That's what it's all about. Um, I like that, Joanne. Put <laughs> left the Fitbit in the pocket in the washing machine. <laughs> oh, dear. That's very good, yeah. Well, I did time mine one day for steps on my Apple Watch. And knitting, I did, fi did 5,000 steps. And yeah. I was and I wasn't anywhere and it was knitting. And I, it's not like I knit like this. No, you I, knit really slow gestures. <laughs> well, I couldn't think of the word, but you just don't move your hands much, do you? No, no. So that is really, so just be, be, be wary, all those of you out there, just in, out of interest, just if you have got a sports tracker, I know some don't as much. I know so mine really didn't, because I sat down and I, Probably took me an hour, I sat probably for an hour and a half this morning to do my knitting and every hour mine tells me it buzzes if I've not done 250 steps and yeah. it buzzes and said, you have 242 steps to reach your goal and I'd been for a wee in that time. So it's not even counted all the steps. I mean, it's not many more than eight steps to go for a wee, but so so I'm like mine definitely doesn't count mine. I'm like a lunatic, so I'll sit down when I'm listening, take my watch off. And then if I do get up to walk somewhere, I'd like pick my watch up and walk with me watch <laughs> so I don't miss any steps. But oh, um, yeah, it is interesting that you can think you've done loads of steps, but it might you might actually have done the steps. It's yeah. That's not very good, really, is it? No, because it isn't. people will think, well, bloody I've done 10,000 steps today and sit down, and they've really not. Been sat down for eight hours knitting. Yeah. Oh, I've, I've actually done more steps than I thought I was doing. <laughs> oh, oh, dear me. Um, Did you <laughs> rang its heart up. When she was in Cuba, the bus ride was so bumpy it recorded it as steps. Oh, my goodness, Judy. That is <laughs> a bumpy ride. Well, that, it reminds me of that um, um, when Freddie did his... Um, when he was do when they did that program and he was doing the competition, wasn't he? Is how many people could get the how many steps they could get in between Romesh and they were doing that test, weren't they? And the whole time Freddie's like stood going like this with his hand because he had a fitness tracker on, and nobody realised they were trying to work out why he'd done so many more fitness steps than anybody else. It's because he was just stood still doing this the whole time with his wrist. Oh, it did make me laugh. So, yeah, but no, <sighs> if it. If it stops, I might get a... It's supposed to be... Tomorrow's supposed to be dry, isn't it? But not... Yeah. Just grim again. It's just like October. Yeah. October, that's where it's going to be. October. But... Right. right. Well, I've got, I'm, I think we should stop rabbiting on now because I've got nothing else to talk about. Thanks. Rabbiting. So all of those that have booked the retreat already and have paid the first 50% deposit will be sending out the um, email and invoices and... Um, I keep saying, <laughs> I want to say passion, passion, passenger, passenger locator forms. That's not what I'm sending you. I'm sending out your your guest information forms. We don't, we don't really need to know where your location, where you're located, but we would like to know if you've got any dietary requirements. That's what we'd like to know. That's exactly what we like to know. So if by some chance you do happen to get a passenger locator form, just ignore it. Oh dear. We won't be asking you for your exits here, here, and there. <laughs> oh dear. Right, right. Okay, then. Well, we shall hopefully have a bit more knitting for you next week, maybe. Is it just holiday <laughs> weekend next weekend? Yeah. Or, I mean, who knows what state I'll be in because I get my second jab next Friday. <gasps> Two o'clock. I the mean, it won't affect me by then because last time it took me about eight, ten hours before I started to feel freezing cold contacted me the email but uh, takes me to say they've moved my date forward hmm. moved it would... next tuesday yeah and, and then the next day they moved it to next friday and i've had to ring them to say well, i can't come and um, can i have another appointment so i've gone back to my original date in june well i wondered if i'd get contacted again but i suppose they're thinking that i'm so 
close to when my appointment is that they're probably not going to bother. So, yeah, my appointment is at two o'clock next Friday. So hopefully, because it's only up the road from where I live, I will be back because I was only there half an hour last time because I had to sit and wait for me 15 minutes because of my allergy. So um, I should be back. I should be I should be back. I should be fine because the symptoms don't start for a while, do they? No, no. So we will be here same time next week. Yeah, same time next week for the bank holiday extravaganza. <laughs> da -da -da -da! Da -da -da -da! Oh dear. Right. Oh dear. Well, have fun, everybody. Try and enjoy this wonderful weather we've got. We're not jealous of all you people who don't live in the UK at the minute. Stay no. warm and keep 